Now, there is a lot going on here at UK Construction Week, but I have to say, a few things are as exciting as what is happening behind me, which is some 3D concrete printing, thanks to the wonderful team at Vasarian. And Ben is here to talk to me about, well, what on earth is going on and how they got to this stage. Uh, so, Ben, thanks for joining me. No problem at all. Pleasure. Um, brilliant. So, let's start off then. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious what it is that you do at Vasarian, but let's talk a little bit about the company and uh, how you ended up here at UK Construction Week. Okay, so I mean, Vasarian itself is a lot more, um, there's a lot more to it than just the 3D concrete printing that you see behind us. We're actually an advanced materials company, uh, best known for our production and implementation of graphene in a number of different areas. Uh, here, obviously, you're seeing our 3D concrete printing offer, um, which we are experimenting with using graphene to enhance the strength of the mortar. So ultimately, we hope to be able to use less of it. That's, you know, that's the plan. Um, so the mortar that you're seeing being printed, part of the uh, interesting, exciting, and important thing about it is that there's no cement. So it's not a concrete, it's cement free. And it's made using ground granulated blast furnace slag from the steel industry. So it's basically upcycled waste. Um, this is uh, a spe specifically designed 3D mortar. Uh, it's not, uh, by the way, we didn't formulate this. This is something we use, um, but we uh, have engineered a graphene admixture, which we are experimenting with this and which we use with concretes as well. I mean, that is so exciting. One of the big uh, themes that we've seen from people this year here at UK Construction Week has been about upcycling, circular economy, sustainability, uh, which obviously is so important at the moment. So actually, this is right on trend. I'm actually really exciting for the future. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I. I'll be, I'll be amazed if this isn't a huge part of the construction industry in the future. I'm not saying it's going to be, you know, replace all other forms of construction by any means whatsoever, but additive manufacturing, it's got so many advantages. I mean, as an architect, you know, I, I get very excited uh, about the design possibilities, for example. I mean, if you look at what's being printed here, you know, that wall doesn't cost any more than a flat equivalent. You know, it can have curves, it can have whatever shape. So for me, obviously, that's a huge deal. Um, but also we're printing hollow structures, so compared to a, say a precast equivalent, we're saving a lot of material, and of course there's no cement. So there's a lot of big wins there. Speed as well is incredible. So yeah. you're gonna see, you know, so this nozzle's moving at almost half a meter per second. Uh, we're printing layers of about 12 millimeter high, so it goes up very quickly. That sort of completed wall that you see there in the background took about 20 minutes. So, you know, it's a sort of speed that we don't really see in the construction industry. So actually, uh, time saving, money saving, yeah. addressing the skills shortage as well, and the fact that actually these technologies are really helping um, to help place people in, in positions that suit them better, because actually you've got the technology to help. Yeah, absolutely. And, and again, it's that thing about waste, you know. Uh, so again, comparing to precast, which I shouldn't, I shouldn't keep doing that because, of course, it's not just about precast, but it's easy to fall into because, you know, you, you think about moulds, for example. So, you know, I've talked about the, the lead-in times for moulds. That's not the only problem. It's what happens to them afterwards. Are they recycled? You know, do they become landfill? And even if they are recycled, then there's a process associated with that recycling. So, you know, the less of that that we need to use, then the better. Clearly, there's no molds or formwork here. Sometimes we need to use a little bit if we want to create an opening, um, but then we reuse that many, many times. Yeah, absolutely, it's not about being perfect. You know, it's not about being 100% waste-free or you know everything upcycled. It's about those small changes. Well, I say small, rather big changes here um, that are actually going to make a difference within the industry. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, I won't say baby steps because I feel like this is quite a big step, but but it is. It is. You know, it's about the, taking the steps to get there, you know, wherever there ends up being. Oh, uh, Ben, listen, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Um, I'm, the crowd is still really big here, um, and I know you've got another demonstration coming up today. Is it 3.50? Quarter past three, yeah, yes. and then the same again tomorrow. Fantastic. All right, well, come down, chat to the team at, uh, well, at Vasarian. Um, come and learn more about their wonderful 3D concrete printing and have a chat with Ben. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.